Hey Scrollers, welcome to a quick tip from Scrollsoft Forums. Uh, this is Bob again, Triple B. I just wanted to uh, show you guys a quick, simple little method of aligning your blade to make it perpendicular to your table, which is extremely important in most scroll saw cutting and also in Tarsha that your blade is perfectly 90 degrees to the table. It's really a simple process. We take a, a, squir a scrap piece of wood we make sure that at least one side is nice and square so that it goes lays across the table nice and flat and also if you have a plate like this one this happens to be one of my backup scroll saws that I got out because my, the, my normal saw the head tilts instead of the table and I just wanted to show this process by adjusting the table instead of the head because I think more people can relate to that but anyway first thing we want to make sure is that our block is as wide as we can get it and still be cuttable on our saw. Uh, the higher this is, the more accurate the measurement is going to be when we actually make a cut in the wood. Having a thicker piece here is much better. It just gives you a lot more surface area than trying to use a little thin piece of three quarters here. This piece of wood I've got here is about an inch and a half thick. You know, I could go a little bit bigger, but this this is fine actually. So we'll go ahead and put a little slice in here. I've used this block before for this, so there are other cuts, but let's just go ahead and made a little slice and we got a little smoky there too. So now what we want to do is line the bottom of the cut up. If you notice, I didn't pick this board up. I didn't turn it over or anything. I kept it just the way it is and just slid it around. And we want to line the bottom of the cut up here. And obviously you can see we're way off parallel here. So what we want to do is with this lined up, the bottom of the cut lined up, we just want to eyeball this and split the difference between the line we cut and the blade we have here. So we'll make a little mark here. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, it'll be close. And now we'll just loosen our table up a little bit. Move the table to the line. Give it a little tighten down. And we'll pick a new spot and try it again. We don't want to do it on the same spot. It's just easier to keep track of where you're where you're cutting the wood and make another one. So here we go. And that first time I was pushing a little hard and we got smoky. Okay, so now we should come close to lining up. Okay, we're... It's a little hard to see. Okay, that's better, but we're still not quite there. I need to make a little bit more... Adjustment again splitting the difference between the blade and the line we cut Which is just a little teeny tiny nudge, so we'll just give it a little bit here uh, Whoops That should be close give the table a little tighten And we'll make one more cut and I think we'll probably be good then Okay, there's our line. Uh, yep, that's perfect. Okay, so now by doing that, we know that this table is perfectly perpendicular to the blade or at a 90 degree angle to the blade. So, so we don't have to continue doing this process over and over and over every time we have to move the table. A real simple thing to do is get yourself a more permanent piece of wood. This is a little piece of... Uh, hardwood, I believe it's uh, walnut, and we simply make sure the, again, the piece is big enough to span your centerpiece if you happen to have one. We'll just turn the wood around. Cut a line in it. Blow the dust out. 
and as you can see we're perfectly aligned so now anytime I move this table all I need to do is get this block set it on the table see it's as simple as I mean I can have the table at a 45 degree come back here get my block out line the cut up because I know it's already perfectly 90 degrees tighten the table down we're good to go now one thing that you need to kind of be aware of is the fact that if you make this cut with a number three blade mark your block somewhere with a number three on it because you don't want to use a bigger blade if you're trying to align the table up simply because if you were using say a number nine blade the a number nine is a lot thicker than this and if you cut this with a number nine and you put a three or a one in there you're going to have a lot of extra slop inside the slot I hope that came out right slop inside the slot easier done than said I guess so anyway um, you just dedicate your piece of block to the blade if you you don't need a number three blade on the project just go ahead and grab a three line your table up and then change the blade to whatever you need you know it's pretty much that simple and I also like to write on big letters in here something like blade set up and put it in marker or uh, wood burn it or you know get fancy and draw a pattern and write it on you know we're all scrollers we can get creative and do fancy things but anyway it's just simply for lining your blade up and now I never have to use that process again because I've got this piece of wood you know later on if the wood warps or something you know I can always cut a new one it's not a big deal but I just I simply don't have to go through this every time I want to align my blade it's much easier now anyway I hope you enjoyed it and if you wouldn't mind click like if you liked it if you didn't like it don't click like that's okay uh, but you can also, also subscribe to my channel that would be a wonderful thing because there will be a lot more videos coming out and anyway happy scrolling everybody